So let's talk about the match expression. The match expression is pretty much the same as the switch statement with just a few differences. Also the match expression was introduced in PHP 8 and it will not work in previous versions. So let's recreate this switch statement here using the match expression right below it. So the syntax of match expression is the match keyword and then we provide the expression same way as the switch statement. So we're going to put payment status here and then within the curly braces we provide key value pairs where key is the single conditional expression and the value is the return expression so for example in this case we have the case one so we'll do one and then the syntax is similar to the arrays it's equal and greater than sign and then the return expression is paid in this case or instead of paid we could just do print paid because print can be used as an expression then we have two print payment declined and then we'll talk about the three in a bit let's do zero print pending payment and we'll talk about a default in a second also let's refresh the page and we see that paid is printed twice once it's printed from the switch statement and the other time it's printed from the match expression so let's talk about the differences the first difference is that the match expression actually is an expression and it evaluates to a value and therefore it can be assigned to a variable so we can say payment status display and this will just return whatever the return expression here is now the print just returns one so if we do echo payment status display here and we refresh we're just going to get one we can remove the print from here and just return the string and if we refresh then it just prints paid now this expression can be any kind of expression pretty much you could have a function here that returns a value and so on the second difference is that within the switch statement you need to use the break statement to avoid some unexpected results because without the break statement as mentioned before it will just fall through the other cases with the match expression that does not happen the match expression will just return that one value once the match is found and it will not fall through the other cases so you don't need the break statement in match expression though you can do the fall through strategy using the match expression and that is by specifying multiple expressions here by separating them with commas so we can do two comma three and this works the same way as this it basically works same as or condition so it would be like the payment status is either two or it's three then return payment decline so if we change the payment status to two we refresh it prints the same thing from both switch and match we change it to three it will print same for both the third difference is that in the switch statement the default is not required and therefore you could have some cases that are not found for example if we remove the default case here and we set to five five is not found in the cases but with the match expression that will result in an error the match expression is exhaustive meaning that you have to specify all the possible cases here if you don't specify all possible cases and you have have to specify the default so if we refresh the page this will cause an error we can add the default back to the switch statement we get the default printed for switch and we can use the same default keyword for the match expression so we can do default and if we refresh now the error is gone the fourth difference is that match expression does strict comparison while the switch statement does the loose comparison and what I mean by that is if I set this to one then both prints paid but if I set this to string one then the switch statement will still print paid but the match expression will print the default unknown payment status because the string one doesn't exist here it's a strict comparison so think of it as switch does the comparison using the double equals and then the match does the comparison using the triple equals just a quick note here that because both these sides are expressions you could have complex expressions here it doesn't have to be as simple as that you could have function calls here you could have some logical operators here you could set this to some conditional expression for example one greater than two and this evaluates to false and false will be your value here so if we set the payment status to false now this will evaluate to paid and in switch statement it evaluates to pending payment because we have a zero right here another thing to note is that the match expression does not deprecate the switch statement the switch statement still has its use cases for example you cannot do like a paid and then semicolon and do another expression that won't work while in the switch statement you could have multiple statements so you could have echo statement and you could have some kind of function statement you can have another statement and so on the way you would solve that with the match expression is that you would extract that block into a function and then use that function call as the expression here so which one is better should you use the match expression should you use the switch statement or should you use if else conditionals there's really no right or wrong answer here i gave you the differences between the if else and switch and then the differences between the switch and match and it is up to you which one you want to use i hope you enjoyed this episode please give this video a thumbs up share and subscribe
subscribe and I will see you on the next one where we're going to discuss the return, declare and go to's.